Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all safe and healthy. So today I'm back at the 101 showroom where previously I've made a video with the Mercedes S-Class then also the Mercedes GLA and also that very particular Mercedes AMG GTC. But today I'm here to take a look at the all new 2022 GLE and this particular model is the GLE 450 and I'll uh, tell you everything you need to know about it. I'll tell you what are the changes for the 22 model year and um, everything you need to know basically so before we go ahead and take a look at the car i just wanted to say that one of one has been supporting me for quite a long time and i have made a lot of videos here not just the mercedes which i mentioned before and uh, there were a lot of cars so i just wanted to say that uh, you guys uh, can follow them on instagram to show my appreciation to, uh, to them as well and also i'll be leaving the link to their instagram or i mean the snapchat as well so both will be in the description you go ahead and follow them as well and one more thing if you enjoy videos like these do leave a like and also do subscribe to the channel as well and also turn on your notifications so that you'll be the first ones to know when i upload later videos so now let's go ahead and take a look at the car all right guys so here it is the 2022 mercedes -Benz GLE and here in Saudi Arabia we have uh, basically three variants but uh, which are divided into five as well so we only get the Mercedes-Benz GLE 450 which is the standard Benz then we have the GLE or Mercedes AMG GLE 53 then we have the GLE 63S but uh, there are quite a few variants in the 450 as well so basically we have the standard base 450 then we have the 450 premium and then this car the 450 premium plus so the premium plus comes standard with the AMG package as well and I'll tell you everything you need to know about the exterior design but first let's start with the price so the 2022 model year as you can see the price is 460,000 riyals and I'll convert it into dollars for you guys as well. Just remember that most of the cars here are imports. So because of that, there is a lot of price premium when compared to cars in the US and Europe as well. And also we do have the VAT tax system. So that also increases the price a bit. So let's start with the exterior design now. And uh, as you can see, there are no changes in the front in terms of the design, but uh, the changes are basically not noticeable and for 22 model year we do have uh, the auto high beam headlights as standard so before they were an optional extra but now they are uh, standard you can see led high performance written right over there with the mercedes benz logo right over there and the design is like this this is how the uh, led drls look and that's your main headlight and on this side you can see how the indicator works right over here so this part, the outer LED or the DRL works as the indicator. Then we'll take a look at the front design or the bumper itself. So there are no changes and the premium plus package basically comes with the AMG uh, night or AMG package or AMG body kit as standard. So in that, the base GLE actually looks pretty different. I'll just put up a photo for you guys. But uh, for the AMG package, you have a new grille and you also have a totally new front bumper and rear bumper as well, which I'll show it to you later. But uh, this one also has an optional extra on the AMG package as well, and that's the night package. So if you go just for the basic uh, AMG package, this part over here is in chrome. But since we have the night package, the overall surround is in black. And obviously this has all the cruise control system and advanced rear uh, safety systems so you have the radar neatly hidden behind the Mercedes logo and below the Mercedes logo you can see we have the camera for your 360 surround system as well and all your parking system and I do like this small hexagon designs or like pins in the grill it does look pretty nice and again down below the front bumper you have this uh, huge fake vents but um, it's okay it gives the car a nice uh, or gives the suv a nice sporty look and these fins here again if you go for the standard amg uh, amg package these are chrome but again due to the night package you get these as black then down the side you can see we have an air breather which allows for smooth airflow down the side and improves the aerodynamic efficiency then this part also over here is in black with the night package and you have an open uh, air intake here for your radiators with some parking sensors and your uh, tow hook or tow hook is nicely hidden over here you can see it's a removable part over here then on the hood you have nice uh, peaks in the middle and one thing i do like is uh, how they have brought the hood all the way to the front there is no shut line over here so it looks nice and clean right over here as well so they have pulled it all to the end it does look pretty good then up top you can see over there we do have some of the cameras and radar systems which obviously helps in the safety system and cruise control and all this stuff then we come to the side 
and on this side you can see this is the exit for that air breather which i talked about and with the amg package you do get this body colored arches wheel arches uh, the standard GLE has black cladding, but this one again with the AMG package, they are body colored. And then this is something I didn't think I would say, but uh, 21 inch wheels look small on this car or the SUV. And uh, if you want, I think even the 23 inches on that GLS looks pretty good. And let's take a look, closer look at the wheels themselves. So with the night package, you have uh, these uh, 21 inch wheels or basically with the AMG package. And uh, you can see AMG written right up top. And with the night package, you do get these black inserts inside. So pretty, they look pretty good as well. So in total, the size is a 275 section with the 45 series sidewall. And like I told you, the rim is a 21 inch. And basically the disc brakes are also pretty huge. And I think they need to be because of this uh, size of this car and the weight as well okay so this car basically weighs uh, uh, if it depends on the configuration you go for like in the us market and europe you do get the gle 350 as well which goes with the four cylinder or which has the four cylinder and uh, that weighs around 2200 kilograms which is around 4800 pounds this particular 450 has the six cylinder engine and uh, the weight increases with that to 2300 kilos which is basically 5000 pounds and then uh, in the us markets you also have the new gle 580 which has the v8 so that again increases the weight to 2500 kilos which is 5500 pounds so that's your weight and then in terms of the suspension you do have uh, an option of air suspension i am not sure with the I'm not sure if this particular model has that uh, because uh, we don't get since this is a third party dealer there's no spec sheet to uh, review then again with the night package your window surrounds are in black if you go for the standard AMG night or AMG package they are in chrome as well as your roof rails are in black then down the side you also have these illuminated uh, rails or basically footsteps to help you get inside the SUV and then we come to the back so the back tire or the rear wheel is again much wider than in the front so 315 sections with the 40 series sidewall and again 21 inch rim same design same huge disc brake at the back and overall pretty good now one thing with the GLE I do like is how they have designed this C pillar here and then how the rear window wraps around the car and that's a pretty nice design feature at first when the GLE was launched I was not so sure about the design of the car but uh, seeing a lot of them around uh, I think I'm used to it now and then now we come to the back so here you can see the tail lights how they have uh, turned on so full LED tail lights and they do look pretty good and then on this side you can see how the indicator works as well just right over here and then you have your GLE 450 badge with the 4Matic badge so that is the name for Mercedes' uh, four wheel drive system and then up top we have a small roof spoiler but if you want you have there is another optional roof spoiler which is a bit raised up and has some fins in it then you have your third brake light with your uh, rear windscreen wiper and down below you have a uh, black cladding over here it's not fully body colored but this part is and uh, you can see we have real exhaust no we don't have real exhaust all fake uh, that is something i don't like what mercedes does it makes them look uh, real but uh, even i got confused there for a second but uh, i think they are hidden down below i think manufacturers just should stop this either give them uh, real exhaust or not even this side you can see i think yeah it's a fake exhaust here as well then you have some fake vents on this side as well I think I like what BMW does, they add reflectors instead of fake winds, so it does look a bit better. But uh, that's about it at the rear. Let's uh, take a look at the boot space now. So to open the boot, you have uh, a button in here, you also have another button in the interior, or you can open it via the key fob, uh, which I'll just show it to you. So here's your key fob, just uh, press it or hold it and it should open up so you can use the key fob to open the boot as well but uh, for some reason this is not working so here we go it's an electrically operated boot and currently there is some stuff kept inside because it is a brand new car and let me just move this aside so here it is the boot space of the GLE 450 it's a pretty nice and square shape and I'll give you the numbers on it so since this is uh, this one does not have the third row option uh, i'll tell you the space behind the second row itself so behind the second row you have uh, 630 liters which is like 22 cubic feet but since you can slide the th second row as well if you slide them all the way forward you do get 825 liters of space so that is like 29 cubic feet which is pretty good and if you fold down the second row seats 
the total space you get is 2055 liters which is uh, i think one of the best among its uh, rivals so basically that is like 74.9 cubic feet and uh, over here you can see we have some nice tethering points uh, all around uh, all across over here we have some hooks we have a uh, halogen light then we have some netage over here to keep your manuals and stuff then this part over here you can you have you can see uh, we have a spare tire over here because this car is not on run flat so and you also have some usable space down at the side as well but uh, that's about it if you want you can get a uh, bumper protection steer protection so basically it's like this but applied over here as well but uh, that's about it and uh, let's take a look at what's uh, powering the GLE 450 okay so here's the engine bay of the GLE 450 one detail I do like is uh, how they've added carbon fiber over here to keep this uh, part light and also I think it helps with the crash protection a bit and also you can see we have some bracing on the sides over here and then we come to the engine itself so the GLE 450 has this inline 6 which is a twin turbocharged and it produces 362 horsepower and 369 pound feet of torque which is 500 newton meters it is also attached to a small electric motor which is uh, 48 volts and that actually provides 21 horsepower and 184 pound feet of torque that is like for 249 newton meters so that is actually the combined figure which i told you the 362 horsepower and the assistance from the battery you only get it when you have the throttle fully pinned and all together that is uh, the battery actually sits between the engine and the transmission and this has a 9 speed transmission again attached to a 4 wheel drive system all together this package allows this SUV to go from 0 to 100 in 5.5 seconds again that depends on the conditions so in dry conditions it will definitely do a 5.5 seconds and uh, I think that's about it in the engine bay you also get uh, the GLA 53 right over there so that also has a similar inline 6 engine but obviously produces more power then you have the 63 which uh, has the V8 again a lot more power and even in the US the newly introduced GLE 580 that has the twin turbo V8 similar to the AMG 63 and but I think that has like 503 horsepower and uh, if you go for the GLE 350 like in the US markets and the European markets you do get a four cylinder turbo chest but here we only get the six cylinder or the V8 we don't have any other options okay so that was all on the exterior of and the engine of the GLE 450 and now we'll be heading to the interior uh, where I'll tell you the the changes for the 22 model year as well but uh, before we head there i just wanted to say if you are enjoying the video so far do leave a like below and also do subscribe to the channel as well and also turn on bell notifications so that you'll be the first ones to know when i upload later videos and also do let me know in the comments below so far what you have liked about the exterior and the engines of the GLE as well so now let's go ahead and take a look at the interior okay so to get into the interior you obviously have keyless entry system you just touch over here and it unlocks you can see we have electrically folding mirrors and then we open up to reveal the interior itself so for the changes for the 22 model year i'll just tell you right now uh, they have added some new colors for the interior and that's about it most of the systems are same as well so the interior color they have added is called an espresso brown it's again a two-tone black and this part will be espresso brown and personally i have seen a video with that uh, of the gle with that interior and it does look good the other option is uh, a white and black so this one here has the macchiato beige or macchiato beige however you want to call it i'll call it macchiato and uh, it's again a two-tone so you have uh, black up top and the seats are in that beige color but uh, let's start with the door trim first so door trim you have nice high quality leather up top with the stitching right over here and you can see i do like this knurled uh, lock over here uh, it's just an old school reminder before you used to pull them up to unlock the car and stuff but now it's obviously all electric but it's just there as a tradition i suppose and even that is uh, high quality then over here you have the wood veneer now this is the standard uh, wood veneer i think you get on the gle if you want you can get an open pour wood or you can also get an aluminium uh, insert over here or even carbon fiber but uh, my personal favorite is the open pour design i like that a lot then here you have the speaker systems here and here as well this one does not have the upgraded sound system the upgraded sound system is from burmister as well so do keep that in mind here we have the heating for the right seat over here on the, uh, for the passengers you don't have it for the uh, driver for some reason 
then you have your memory seating and all your controls for your driver's seat then down below you have your handle with the door unlock and lock and you have your window controls and your side mirror controls as well then that leather over here is nice and soft with the stitching even the armrest is nice and soft the door handles feels nice and solid as well then over here you have uh, let me just show this to you you have a cup holder in there and you have some decent amount of uh, door storage you have your button to open the tailgate from here and this part over here also does feel as uh, high quality plastic it doesn't feel scratchy or something and you have a reflector right down below then over here on the side you do have this uh, illuminated mercedes benz sill plate and then we come to the seats so the seats are also nice and uh, supportive and obviously they look pretty good as well the leather is nice and soft and uh, I think uh, on the standard JLE you do get an uh, MB Tex or a cloth inserts I believe uh, but uh, this one is the upgraded premium plus so you have all leather everywhere and uh, overall it does look pretty good and you do have some controls here which I'll just show it to you now so you have your electronic parking brake you have your light controlled right over here and these are again some more controls for your lights and I think this is for your instrument cluster brightness and uh, your hood latch is located down over here and those are your pedals uh, you also have some lumbar adjustment right over here as well but uh, that's about it for the door trims now we'll get into the interior and i'll talk about that okay so we are in the interior of the gle and uh, let's start with the dashboard quality first and as expected it is pretty nice and soft touch i do like this it does look like a sound bar but i'm sure it's not maybe it is then you have the uh, heads up display right over there and all the way this is nice and soft touch as well with the leather you have nice stitching all around this is not an air vent the air vents are right here nice and square shape and you have uh, two 12.3 inch uh, systems as well so let's turn them on and turn them on you have your uh, start stop button right here and this is also for your uh, auto start stop system so let's uh, press this over here and i think you do get some animation as well so that's your animation the mercedes logo and then it also shows the gle as well so you saw it showed the uh, gle as well so here you can see all the systems are turned on and uh, obviously the displays are pretty nice and bright and they are uh, pretty high quality and uh, it's the basic mbux system you don't have any changes i believe for the 22 model year but uh, i'll just go through some of them if you want so to control this display you have the controls on the steering wheel right over here and the steering wheel is also nice and high quality by the way you have your wiper controls here and this is to control your uh, gears as well so prnd you have right over here you also have your uh, paddle shifters right over here and the steering wheel is electrically operated i hope you can just see that clearly and that's about it and this is the standard amg or i mean this is the standard uh, steering wheel mercedes steering wheel if you go th if you go for the amg models you do get a different style and uh, one more thing i wanted to show you you can see the ambient lighting it starts all the way here it wraps around from there and then it moves all the way from there as well so they look pretty good and uh, over here on the grab handles you also have the ambient lighting as well even inside the cup holders uh, but that's about it i'll just show you uh, some parts of the display as well so to control it you have uh, your buttons here or this touch sensitive button here and you can swipe down and up to showcase uh, different uh, display settings and that's about it so you have your trip computer also you can go into a full screen display if you click that uh, you can see most of it just moves out and there is more information displayed then you can just hit back and it turns to the normal display then you have home if you press this you can go into different like navigation phone assistance then you have uh, different style as well uh, i'll just show it to you so you can see you have styles and display then you have this classic you can go into sport then you have uh, this display for the sport then you have a progressive one so progressive over here even this uh, part over here this main display changes as well then you have this understated as well uh, which shows you a clock i believe and your speed and that's about it i personally like this uh, standard display which looks pretty nice and clear to me and uh, that's uh, i don't like the yellow color or which is displayed in the sport display but if you swipe across this way you can go into this display right over here which is the tachometer and if you swipe down you have your consumption right over there you have your eco display and you have your map 
and also you can see down below the EQ power and charge so basically that is when you have uh, since this car has the 48 volt system like I told you that will show you uh, the power and charging of that and that's about it then you have some controls here so this is for your cruise control and this part over here controls this display so these controls work in the similar fashion with this one and these are your voice assistant your uh, volume knob and also your call and call function and that's it then we come to the center and you have your um, mbox system the latest system so you have your phone navigation you can see it predicts where i'm going to be touching and that's one thing and you get a nice huge display of the map as well then you have uh, your radio your media your comfort so in comfort you can see the seat kinetics you have your ambient lighting you can adjust the brightness and all the stuff that's about it then you have your info uh, info if you press that you have your vehicle info engine info for that i'll have to switch on the ignition then you have your apps so this has apple carplay and android auto as well then you have some vehicle settings so here you can just see how the standard GLA looks but they have not changed the uh, car look over there then this is all your uh, ESP that is the stability and all the stuff vehicle lights and you can control everything from here then uh, you also have the uh, voice assistant uh, that is the hey Mercedes so I'll just show that to you hey Mercedes how can I help so that's how it activates cancel there we go then here you can see we have the nice square air vents which look pretty good with that same wood veneer and uh, here you have your climate control settings with your uh, hazards right over there and that's it then down below let me just turn the flash for you guys there we go we have a nice wireless charger with some usb ports so both of them are usb c and you have a 12 volt socket as well this is a closable lid by the way so it closes till here if you it actually closes all the way here but since this car has this uh, smokers package it has this ashtray right over here and that blocks it so basically if i remove that you can see it closes all the way here and that's how you open it and let's just place this over here and then the cup holders themselves they are actually heated uh, and cooled as well pretty good then we come right over here so here we have the touchpad which uh, controls the main display and uh, you obviously have some shortcut buttons for your home skip tracks and back as well this is your dynamic control so this changes your drive modes so right now we are in comfort okay so we actually have to switch on the car for that i'll just do that just a minute so here you can see we have in comfort then we have sport we have individual and we have eco as well and we also have off-road but uh, i'm not sure if this particular car has the e-active uh, body control which helps the car to bounce up and down so i'll not be checking for that it's, uh, since i'm inside the showroom uh, but i'll just uh, switch off the car now then uh, we have some vehicle settings here and this is for your camera if you press that and here we go so right now we have uh, that's uh, the parking assistance this is your front camera view and a less wide view then this is a full surround system now currently the door is turned on for some reason there you go now it shows up it, everything uh, then this is your rear camera view and this is a smaller view with the blind spot as well okay and that's about it let's back out from here okay so that's how the camera system is of the mercedes gle then you have some favorite and shortcut buttons all around and another volume knob and this is your palm rest while you are using this touch sensitive control here and you have some space for the key then you have a central armrest which is nice and soft and you can just open it up and you have a lot more space you also have a USB-C and uh, that's about it uh, you have your uh, glove box right over here which is nice and decent sized and you have your, it's has a felt lining again that means uh, whatever you put inside on scratch up then up top we have the light controls which I'll just show them to you right now so there we go so that's how the lights look and uh, that's your control for the sunroof which is right over here and uh, one more thing I wanted to show you let me just turn off the flashlights for or let me just turn off the lights for that uh, I just wanted to show you the feature for this uh, up top so basically look at this hey Mercedes how may I help you open the sun blinds and it opens all the blinds which are around the car as well or the SUV 
and that's a pretty nice feature which you can use while driving so you don't need to fumble around up top to open the sunroof which is pretty huge as well so it helps the cabin feel nice and airy and overall that's about it and let's talk about the space for a second inside this uh, SUV or the GLE uh, I'm in my usual driving position I am 6 foot 4 or 195 centimeters and uh, I'm pretty comfortable in the seats as well they hug me pretty okay and I don't feel constricted and then we come to the headroom and here's the headroom in the GLE and you can see I have a pretty good amount a pretty good amount of headroom and I'm pretty comfortable as well and I think I can easily spend quite a long time in this uh, driving seat and easily drive this car for a pretty long time and um, that's about it now what we'll do is we'll jump in the back seat and I'll show you the space over there okay so here's the back seat of the Mercedes GLE and the rear door trim is again similar to the front you have nice high quality materials and these are your blinds as well which I showed you opens automatically if you just say hey Mercedes open the blinds or cl close the blinds so that's pretty nice you have the same wood veneer here with the speakers right over there and again if you get heated and ventilated seats those will those will show up right over here and then you have a nice and soft leather right over here with the door handles and you can see the ambient lighting which is uh, showcased over there and here as well these are your window controls and down below you have some okay amount of door storage and you also have illuminated seal plates right over here and these are how the seats look at the rear so they have a pretty similar pattern to the one in the front and you have your isofix covers right over here so they are easy to access and uh, these are your uh, armrest which nice and soft you have the cup holders here that's one thing i don't like they could have hidden it uh, easily over here or just put a lid because uh, if you tend to most of the time uh, some of the elbows might uh, hit this part and it will feel a bit uncomfortable uh, but uh, now we'll just jump inside and we'll take a look at this space uh, for the GLE okay so I'm inside the GLE 450 and uh, I'm impressed by the amount of space available in this uh, SUV now the driving seat is obviously set to my driving position and I told you that I am 6 foot 5 or 195 or 6 foot 4 basically 195 centimeters that is uh, pretty tall and uh, I think I can I can comfortably sit behind myself I have an okay amount of knee room and uh, this is I think pretty good amount of knee room I don't usually get this much in most of the SUVs even the headroom if I talk about it you can see I have a pretty nice amount of headroom so this is the advantage if you go for the standard GLE and not the GLE coupe if you go for the coupe that uh, sloping roof line or coupe roof line will obviously uh, hit your head uh, I didn't, and I personally don't like the coupe versions of most of the SUVs and uh, I'm only fine with the Porsche Cayenne but I think that will also have the problem with the headroom but uh, this one I think uh, is pretty fine and uh, most of the time uh, the standard SUV design is best for tall people because you do get some nice amount of rear headroom as well then some features you have you have some nice uh, lighting controls right over here with your uh, grab handle then um, you have some door storage space or uh, I mean you have some seat bag pockets or nets basically then uh, you have your climate control system so I think this is a uh, yeah it's a two of total four zone climate control then um, you can see the sunroof by the way comes all the way to the back over here and this one like I told you does not have the uh, rear third row from what I have heard is um, the third row is quite small and it is uh, best for very small children and basically if you do want a third row just go for the larger GLS I know it is a bit more expensive but uh, overall you do get a larger uh, vehicle and uh, you do have more space in the rear third row as well most of the SUVs in this mid-size SUV class like the BMW X5 even if uh, most of their third rows are pretty cramped so it's best not to go for that it, uh, I think these mid-size SUVs are best suited for being the five seaters and not a seven seater and I think uh, that's about it in the rear space or the rear seats okay so what do I think about the GLE 450 or uh, basically the GLE I think it's uh, one of the best mid-size SUV in its class uh, if you want sporty driving characteristics I think you can look to the Porsche Cayenne and also the BMW X5 or even maybe look at the 53 as well uh, the GLE 450 is mainly meant for uh, comfort and it's not meant to be a sporty driving car the AMG is all for that the Mercedes-Benz versions are meant to be more comfort and better 
for daily driving as well and uh, looking at the amount of space in the interior the boot space and all that stuff i think it's uh, one of the best choices you can make and uh, if you like the mercedes badge i think you should just go for it the 450 is the pick of the range and in your place if you are basically watching this video from the us and the europe uh, if you have the gle 350 there i think you can just test drive both of them and see which uh, suits you more uh, i personally would go with the 450 the inline 6 is pretty powerful enough and again i couldn't drive the car because it's uh, uh, meant to be in a showroom it's not a test drive vehicle it's a customer car so i cannot test drive it but uh, from what i have uh, read about it and also watch the videos it is uh, one of the best uh, suvs in its class as well and uh, if you enjoyed the video guys do leave a like below and also do subscribe to the channel as well and do turn on your notifications so that you'll be the first ones to know when i upload later videos and also do follow one of one i'll be leaving the links to their instagram and snapchat as well so do uh, follow them as and take a look at all the collections they have and um, thanks for watching guys stay safe stay healthy and bye bye